Hey guys, happy Monday morning. Welcome back. So I've got some articles for you guys I want to share. I've been in this 11 years, guys, and, and every time that they've ever given an article or, or you know put forth an article that had figures or, or math in it that did give you enough math, guys, to calculate a rate, it, it they only give you the math pretty much always allows you to only calculate a one to one rate. Now, let me put my disclaimer out. This video is my opinion, should not be used for financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Okay. So anyway, so every time in these articles, guys, that they put any numbers or figures, the figures pretty much only allow you to always calculate a one to one rate, guys. And that's the pattern I've seen for over the 11 years I've been in this. Okay. Um, this is one of those articles, guys. It has some figures in it that only really allows you to calculate a one-to-one -one rate. But but here's here's what I want to share in this. Um, these these articles are not really from the Central Bank of Iraq, for one. Okay, and two. This is a classified event, and look at how much look at how much they've BS'd you for the past month. Okay. They've given you tons of BS for the past month. So, again, I, I'm, in my opinion, they will never give you the real true figures that allow you to calculate what the true rate is. That's why, in my opinion, they only give you enough math that would just allow you to calculate a one-to-one -one rate. Okay, I'm, I'm more of the opinion that this is a reinstatement. Okay, which takes it back to where it it you know, devalued from in the three plus range. Okay. I, I'm not looking in the one plus guys. I'm looking in the three plus range on this because I feel, I really feel and believe it's a reinstatement, meaning they have to put it back to where it devalued from in the three plus range. Okay. So that's why I feel when they, when they give you figures that only allow you to calculate a one to one rate that they're just lying to you guys. But again, you have to believe what's best for you. Let's look at this article. Let's see what it says. A director in the central bank sets his forecast for the dollar exchange rate within days and reveals a forthcoming measure. All right. So with this article, the general director of the central bank in the Basra government suggested that the exchange rate would continue to decline in the coming days. Said in a statement following the, that the statements made by some members of parliament and other parties that there is an intent to raise the exchange rate for the dollar in the coming days created a high crisis through the increase in demand for the dollar, which led to an increase in its exchange rate for high numbers. He continued that, that there is there is no truth to the news that talk about an overnight decision by the central bank to raise the dollar exchange rate, noting that the central bank will launch sums of money to reduce the dollar's exchange rate to 121 or 120 for every 100 U.S. dollar. Guys, right there's your one-to-one -one math. They're telling you that the dinar exchange rate will be anywhere from around 121 or 120 for every 100 U.S. dollars. Okay, so an approximate one-to-one -one rate right there. On the selling exchanges and buy the dollar within days. So... Again, guys, you have to believe what's best for you, but again, this is a classified event, and there's no way in hell they're going to give you the math to be able to calculate what the real true rate is. Okay, If you want to believe they are, I wish you the best on your thoughts, but again, it's a classified event, guys, and they're not going to give you the real true math to be able to calculate what the real rate is. Okay, So believe what's best for you. So the, the media of the central bank stated... In a statement, the Central Bank of Iraq confirms that the recent statements regarding the lowering of the exchange rate of the dinar against the dollar represent the viewpoint of those who stated it and do not represent the official position of the Central Bank. This was accompanied by a number of rumors launched by speculators which affected the price. So right there, guys, they're just simply telling you that all the news you've seen for the last two, two weeks about devaluing the exchange rates BS. According to the statement, the bank announced that the exchange rate is fixed and unchanged and that it's 
a monetary policy is clear and transparent. The statement continued that the bank hopes that the media will exclusively use the sources of the central bank in this regard. Yesterday, Saturday, the price of the dollar rose against the Iraqi dinar, reaching $100 compared to 128,000 dinar, according to some exchanges. Okay, so now here's another thing I want to point out to you guys, too. And I just told you regarding that article that that article is, let me scroll back up. That article is really not from the Central Bank of Iraq. See right below the picture, guys, it says, it basically says Baghdad Today News. Okay, I like that news outlet. Guys, this is not an official news article from the Central Bank. Okay, in fact, Look back just at the past two weeks. Look at how many articles you've seen talking about devaluing or reducing, or really just devaluing, okay, the the Iraq dinar over the past two weeks. Guys, none of those articles were from the central bank. They were just from generic news outlets like the one we just looked at. Guys, this is more right here in the middle. This is more of an official news article directly from the central bank, okay? This... This is what matters right here. See how I showed you this, guys, yesterday. This came out yesterday. It talks about this is where the central bank directly told you that all the articles talking about reducing the exchange rate was BS and that they their reserves are also in very good condition. Okay, They're just letting you know that, that there's been a lot of you know speculative rumors talking about devaluing the dinar and how the reserves were depleted. And how it's just all BS, okay? But again, this this is more of an official document right here from the central bank, and you have to be careful what news you choose to believe, okay? Because um, like I said, over the past two weeks, all the ones talking about devaluing the exchange rate were just from generic news outlets, but this is, again, a, more of an official one from the central bank, okay? Let's look at this one. Kademi begins his European tour, removing Iraq from the list of high risk and developing and banking financial investment relations. Why? Why is this important? So, so he guys, we are not going to read this whole article. You guys, this first sentence kind of sums up my point here. It says Prime Minister Kademi begins his European tour on Sunday, which was yesterday, and will last four days, pretty much through. Wednesday or Wednesday or Thursday, whatever. Um, so basically, hold on, I'm trying to see if it if it shows why he's um, why he's there, what what his purpose of being there is. Okay, so here, guys, it says he's there for banking relations and financial investment between Iraq and the countries. So. Basically, here's I have a I have a good buddy that he always asks me. He always he always goes, "Hey Jeff, is there are there any possible delays you can think of? What other delays could delay this? Is there anything you can think of?" Well, that is a loaded question. Plus, there is no we don't have a book in this that tells us what every what every step of the investment is what what all the tasks and stuff that steps that they actually have to complete we don't have that data so of course it's best guess but again he always asked me hey what are there any delays you can think of and this right here is a delay that i'd never even thought of cool thing is it's happening right now and he's in the middle of it and he'll have it done by this wednesday or thursday here's what it is go back to when Iraq came here on August 20th, okay, on we know from our banking contact that as of August 8th, they released and removed Iraq from the from the U.S. OFAC high risk list list on August 8th. Then on August 20th, Iraq sent a delegation to the to Washington, United States, and they drafted roughly 8.2 billion dollars worth of um, business contract agreements, okay. Well, this this would be the same. As since since roughly a few weeks ago, three three four weeks ago, they removed Iraq from the European high risk list. That would pretty much open the door for Iraq to go to to Europe and be able to, you know, draft their own 
business contractual agreements in Europe because they got removed from the list. So I hadn't I hadn't thought about that. But now seeing this, I'm like, oh shoot, that that would that would be a delay. So right here, he's he's there now. So I'm just I'm just glad to see this steps getting done. Okay, because this this makes sense. This would be a step we'd be waiting for. Okay. So as always, guys, we're we're at a, a step where we're at in this investment right now. We're at a week to week monitoring of this investment. It's right now. It's just week to week, seeing how it plays out. Um. There's a good chance it's going to be hard to gauge this investment now going forward due to the level of news coming out. Most of the news is just going to be simple and generic. We don't think it's going to be super detailed to where they're going to give strong clues that say, oh, shoot, because of this, we think they could change the rate, you know, maybe this coming weekend. It's going to be, it's going to be hard to gauge this because the news might not be strong strong enough the news is probably going to very, be very simple and generic so we'll have to see how everything plays out but no matter what we're guys we're at a week to week step or point in this okay so anyway guys there's there's the latest news for you, you guys take care and have a great day